Hi, I'm Tesla, and I am one of the animal care technicians that takes care of the Gibbons and Tapir. For Tanak, um, his primary food item is hay. So he gets about four kilograms of hay a day and it's high in alfalfa, so really high in protein and calcium and calories, and he loves that. He also gets the herbivore cubes, which is about two kilograms, and he gets about 1.5 kilograms of produce. Some of his favorites are he does enjoy fruit, so apples are a big one as his cantaloupe, but he really, really likes watermelon and bananas. The Gibbons diet is much more varied, so they get fruits and veggies every day, and the variety for that ranges from basically everything you can find in the supermarket. So things from like mushrooms and eggplant to red peppers, broccoli, cauliflower, mango, papaya, watermelon, anything that we would eat for fruits and veggies, they would eat as well. Then they also get super worms every day, and they get eggs, lentils, as well as a wide variety of Browse, so they really like tropical browse like banana and ginger and ficus, as does Tanak. And we actually grow those items on site specifically for these animals. So we can provide it for them year round. So for Tanak, first thing in the morning is definitely the best time. So around nine o'clock when the zoo opens, he always comes out and we have his breakfast scatter fed throughout the yard. And he also has a puzzle feeder. He also gets a meal midday, which has him up and moving about, but the time for that changes. And in the evenings as well, he's more active, so at the end of the day as well. Best way to tell them apart is Maximus has more vibrant coloring. So his black is blacker and his white fur is whiter. And he has a little bit more white fur around his face than Mashamal does. So for Tanak's enrichment, a lot of it has to do with how he finds food and how he experiences his environment. So his food is almost exclusively scatter fed unless it's used for training. So he's out searching for it and looking for it through his substrate and his environment. We also give him a lot of his food in puzzle feeders. So he's up and moving around and working with that. We also have some pools for him and some wallows. Another thing that he would find really interesting uh, is things like different scents. So he He's quite territorial. If you come to the zoo, you'll notice the spray marks around his enclosure. So we can do different things by even like walking through or adding some perfumes and stuff. It creates a different environment for him. So he's gonna need to go back over, check it out, explore it and mark it. For the gibbons, their enrichment is a bit more complicated. They are very smart. So for them, we have a lot of different puzzle feeders that we have um, both in their main habitat as well as in their back habitat. We can also hide their food around a lot um, and have them searching for it. So in the wild they would be searching for food for a large part of the day so we try and mimic that as well. We also feed them three to five times a day so that there's a regular supply of food for them to be out and looking for. We can also give them things like paper bags and things that they have to take apart and deconstruct to find food. We can give them different scents and substrates such as wood wool and straw that that they can look through. For them, there's really a very wide variety of options that we can give them to enrich their lives. So the gibbons will not have access outside during the winter. Um, they have both areas inside. Uh, Tanak will have access throughout the winter, but we're still determining what that looks like. So he comes from a warmer climate, so we're just learning about how he tolerates our cold weather here. Um, and the main defining factor for him is we need to make sure that the ground isn't icy because we wouldn't want him to slip. Um, so for him, we're not sure yet he will, but we're just not sure what it looks like because he's not used to our climate. Thank you for joining us at the Calgary Zoo and thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.